Hello Piyar, welcome to my channel. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show how to extract the surface water body using spectral indices. So you can see here, this is the surface water body I have prepared from list 4 data set. So I'll show how we can prepare the surface water set based on the threshold value. You can see here the threshold value, here the frequency and pixel value. Based on the threshold value, how we can prepare this beautiful map, surface water body, how we can extract, how we can measure it, right? I'll show two ways. One is how we can prepare by NDVI. This is based on NDVI. And another is, this is based on the normalized difference water index. So this is very easy. I have used here bench 4, 3, 2, and I masked it. So I have used QGIS, open source QGIS. So here the layer stack, we can add layer. In the previous lecture, I have shown how we can download the list for data. So I have used the same list for data here. So just layer, then add layer, then add raster layer. I will add here three bands, band two, then band three, then band four. Band two is green band, band three red band, and band four. Here, band 4 near in 5 band. Here, we have 3 band. So, first of all, I will mask this data set. So, here the raster, then miscellaneous, then merge. I will stack this 3 layer into 1. So, here the tab 3 dot input layer. We can select from here band 2, 3, 4. Okay, then select it. Place each input file into a separate band. Then we can change it we should change it because it is default but you can see the information about the band so it is 16 bit unintegral so we should change it this this one then here output path we can save our data like in a file like here i want to save water body extraction so first one Mars data set layer stacking layer stacking then run it right we can prepare the FCC we can understand where is water body we can validate our model based on this right so we'll use here two indices first one normalized defiance water index we know the formula for normalized defiance water index green minus near infrared divided by green plus near infrared so it's done so close it now these are not required we can remove this layer right now see the layer stacking go to properties now we can change this see for red band in case of fcc standard fcc we have to change red band to near infrared then green band to red then blue band to green band so it should be one right apply and okay and we can change the transparency like we can see here the zero value this red black color means zero value here so we can set as null uh, by clicking here no color then apply it and okay so you can see this is water body right this is water body and here I'll extract this water body using the indices. So it is very easy. You can see many people, you can find many people. They use the temporal differences of water body, water body mapping. You can say it is a water body mapping. There are many tools you can use. We can compare with these spectral indices. So NDWA is a spectral indices. So it is created by green minus near infrared and green plus near infrared so here we can easily do it in QGIS so here the raster then raster calculator so we need now see here one two three so one mean actually here band two right so our green band here band one actually it is band two Band 1 minus band 
near infrared then close this divided by green band minus uh, plus near infrared right close this bracket and save with this output layer i want to save it here NDWI right save it and run this model then we will get the spectral index NDWI it changes from minus 1 to plus 1 right positive value indicate the water pixel so we can discriminate from water pixel to non water pixel after preparing this we can divide it into two groups one is water pixel and this is non water pixel then we, we can compare this with this fcc product see here the value now just go to this properties you can see the histogram this compute histogram then you can understand this see this histogram okay it ranges from from here this is uh, you can say 0. Point, this is 0. 0.5 this point 0.5 and this is minus 0. 0.45 so you can say it ranges from point uh, minus 0. 0.5 to somewhere uh, plus 0. 0.2 so greater than 0 obviously greater than 0 is a water, water body and here the frequency is highest here in this sense okay it may be fellow land it may be other land non water pixel so but here you can see if, if you observe this we can consider other parameter also how we can consider other parameter i'll show you how we can uh, prepare the other parameter now from raster calculator so one condition is that so ndpi greater than equal to zero greater than equal to zero if it is two then it will be reflect as one okay greater than equal to zero mean if it is two then it will be reflect and as water body so it should be one plus what you can do if NDPI less than see less than 0 we should use here 0, 0.0 and here less than 0, 0.0 then it will reflect as 0 so by this condition we can generate this data 0 and 1 it will convert into water and non water water body save it and click it ok it's working it will take time so i have used as list for data set now list for data set is freely available special resolution 5.8 you can download right so this is what i want to see here the zero and one if we click this value see this one okay and this this is zero so i have converted these two groups zero and one now if you want to calculate just go to this posting toolbox if you want to calculate how many pixel is there if you want to calculate see processing toolbox and you can find raster analysis tool here raster analysis then you can find here see this one raster layer unique value report so i want to create this unique value report so here the water body and non water body okay uh, you can save it this also you can save this table just run it close this now see this table so now this is a pixel value pixel 
and this is area in meter square. So we can say that zero, zero mean here non-water and one is the water, surface water. Okay, how many pixel, how many area? So you can say that it is meters meter square. So meter square we can convert it to the kilometer square, square kilometer three and three six. So it is 161.35 square kilometer area covered by the surface water body. So if we want to extract this one, extract this value, so we can easily do it again. So we need to convert raster to polygon, raster to polygon. It's called polygonize. It's a tool polygonize. We can easily use this polygonize tool. So now we have to save this save file. Uh, we can save it in many packages there. Save file here. We can save it in shape file mode. Okay. So this is again water and non water. Again, water and non water body, right? Save it and click it run. So it will convert raster to vector data. Then we can separate our target. Yes, it's done. See this water body and non water body. Right click and you can find our open activity table, right? This is open activity table. So you can see here one expression. Select features using expression. Just select it. Now what do we want to select? We want to select DN value. DN value equal to 1. We want to select DN value equal to 1. We have 0 and 1. So 0 means non-water and 1 means water. Okay. Select features is done. See. Only one is selected, right? Only one is selected. Okay. So if you want to export this water body only, then select it, go to export and save selected features. Only the selected features. Now we can export only list four. Yeah. Only water body water body list 4 from list 4 we can generate only water body see now these are only water body thank you for watching this tutorial hopefully it will help for research definitely i will prepare others video as well please subscribe my channel see this is water body so we can use now if you prepare multiple water body, you can prepare the dynamic nature of water body. Okay. Thank you.